This is my recap of The Little Couple, Zoe Makes Four, Season 6, uh, Episode 1. So we're starting with a brand new season. I actually started watching this show when it first came out, and I just didn't continue watching it, no particular reason. I just wasn't really that into reality TV at the time, which is just shocking to me. But over the past couple months, I've been catching the commercials and was really intrigued by the new season, so I decided to go back, and I caught it on Netflix and uh, DVR and stuff, and I was able to more or less catch up with the whole show. Um, I think the reason why I like this show so much is that I really think Jen and Bill are interesting people, just period. They have interesting jobs. If I've done my math right, they got married in their 30s, which is something I can relate to. They went through infertility treatment and, you know, then adoption, and that's a storyline that I, I feel really passionate about watching. I really enjoy seeing that kind of kind of storyline. They have dogs, and I have dogs. i got one in the bed right now. And, um, and they happen to be little people. And occasionally that does play in to the storylines, but it's not the only storyline. And I think that's why it has, you know, six seasons, is that they, they are interesting, compelling people, regardless of any one factor of their life. So the fact that they're little people does occasionally play in, like when they try to childproof a house. There's a lot of things that I never would have thought of that came into play because they were little people that was that were different than, say, someone of average height. Um, I also really love that they love each other so much. I mean, they, they love each other a lot, but it's especially endearing how much Bill loves Jen. I, I think culturally there's still some some attitudes that men are supposed to begrudgingly go into marriage. And so it's nice to see someone who's so honest and genuine about how much he adores his wife. Anyway, let's start with the season. The season opens with Jen and Bill going to India to pick up their adopted daughter, Zoe. So um, their older son, Will, is going to be coming along as well as the nanny. So they go over to India and uh, the, they arrive, and the, their first day is Sunday, which is Bill's birthday, is a holiday, and they can't go to the adoption agency, so they kind of they get a tour guide and go look around, and it's, it's very interesting, and we do see a lot of poverty. So my husband has actually been to India. So when we first got married, he was in title insurance before he moved to the ranch, and they actually outsourced some of their processing. And so he went over to India and spent, I think, two weeks. It was either a week or two weeks over there training a processing group in India. And he said they were generous and smart and, you know, um, did everything they could to make him feel at home. But he said that the thing he came away with most was the poverty that he saw. So we saw a lot of that in this, this episode. And then the next day, Will and the nanny stay at the hotel, and Jen and Bill get to go pick up Zoe. And she is adorable. She's, she's um, so pretty young, and she's also a little person. She definitely is, is different than... Oh, hello. She's definitely different than their son, uh, Will. So he is just... He's just a happy baby. Very... It's very... No... No. It's very uncommon to see him really upset. He's just a giggler and he's happy all the time. And Zoe is definitely her own person. She, they described her as being moody, which I think is a very fair assessment. She, she's a little quieter. It's taking her longer to get adjusted. But she's just beautiful and I can't wait to see more of her. And they bring her back to the hotel. Hold on, baby. They bring her back to the hotel and Will is so cute with her. They, they've done a really good job of explaining that they were going to get a sister. They're going to get another baby, showing him pictures of her. They have a room set up for her. And so it seems like he really gets that she's like his, like this is part of his family and that she belongs with them. Because he goes over and tells her that he loves the baby and gives her a kiss on the foot and keeps bringing her toys. And it's just clear that... Mm -hmm in the nature of who he is, he's just this loving kid. And it was really sweet. Oh, I just cried and sniffled when my husband looked at me and said, what's wrong with you? And I said, it's just so sweet. So they, they get Zoe, and I guess it's a, it's a whole process of adoption, but they're able to, you know, to have her, and they're going to go do some sightseeing. And this is where we get kind of the foreshadowing of 
of Jen being sick this season is mm -hmm. is in the previous five seasons I haven't really seen either Jen or Bill just refuse to do something. Normally they're kind of up for everything and you've seen them occasionally make accommodations about well they don't want to get too tired or this or that but Jen flat out just says that she can't she can't go do certain things which which really indicates to me that she is she's really sick and they're not at this point they're not being real specific she just says she doesn't feel un, she just feels unwell she doesn't feel well and she's just going to stay in the bus and and all that so I look forward to to learning more about uh, Zoe and learning more about their family and uh, for now though I'm going to go watch the season finale of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills so I'll see you later